Joining me now to touch on that, to Wyoming Senator John Barrasso. He's chairman of the Senate Republican Policy Committee. Also, sir, an orthopedic surgeon. Uh, yes, I just wonder if, if you have any uh, knowledge of Steve Scalise's condition based on um, talking with his doctors. Uh, no, other than what we've seen in the press and the thoughts and prayers of all the people on Capitol Hill or with, with Steve Scalise and anyone injured in that, and special thanks to the officers who were there who prevented that situation from becoming much, much worse. But uh, all of us here on Capitol Hill, Republicans and Democrats, are committed to making America better, safer, stronger. The, the ball game needs to go on tonight to raise money for the charities that are supported, and it's done in a bipartisan way. Yeah, and we know that Team Scalise is going to be there. We've uh, received a, uh, a, a news release to that effect from, you know, from the WHIP's office. Just about everybody on his team is going to yes. be in attendance at that game. We were just talking with Carol Lee. Now, she and I are reporters. Uh, the question is, can a sense of comity uh, prevail on Capitol Hill? Will, will there be less rancor in our political discourse in the days going forward? What do you think? Well, I, I certainly hope so. We're just passing today in the Senate a bipartisan bill, sanctions against Russia, sanctions uh, that are meaningful, and sanctions against Iran. All of these things are important. I think it's going to be a big vote, and it's going to be bipartisan to show how united we are to keep America safe and secure and strong. That's going to be a bipartisan effort. I want that to move, go on further as we continue on efforts of jobs, the economy, national security, certainly the infrastructure projects that we're working on here in Congress. But I will tell you, as one senator from Wyoming, I'm going to be home this weekend traveling the state and continuing to do it the way I have always done it, without security, visiting with people one-on-one. -on -one. It was a pretty bruising campaign season. Um, you know, Hillary Clinton versus Donald Trump versus, frankly, Bernie Sanders. And, you know, Bernie Sanders, you know, did everything he could to separate himself from this supporter of his who apparently went deranged in open fire yesterday. But is it incumbent on politicians to, you know, just constantly call upon those who support them to try to avoid this kind of thinking, this kind of, I don't know, demented action? Well, it is demented action. It is deranged thinking. There's, there's a lot of history in the United States of people debating vigorously issues. And we're going to continue to do that. And I'll be home in Wyoming hearing about the more pain that Obamacare is causing people in Wyoming. I'll be hearing about jobs and the economy. But I think it's important once we get back here to work together to find solutions that are in the best interest of the American people. So at, one of the things that it would seem, you know, would just lighten the mood of the entire country is more jobs, more economic activity. Uh, if you can provide that to the American people, does some of this bitterness, some of this anger go away? Well, I think that a growing economy is very important. People want a strong and healthy economy, and that's what President Trump has just done with the, the action that he signed, this apprenticeship program, getting people to work, getting people training, uh, getting people more education in work environments in terms of what works in the practical world. So I, uh, I congratulate the president. I had lunch with him on Tuesday, and we focused on, we focused a lot on health care, but additionally, it's a matter of focusing on jobs and the economy, getting the country moving again in Wyoming, uh, just removing some of these onerous punishing regulations that we've dealt with over the past eight years have been a big boost to us in Wyoming. I was there last couple of weeks ago and a guy in the, in the convenience store said, things are good, we're hiring again. That's what we want to hear all across America. People are going back to work putting food on the table, putting, getting the kids to school. That's what people want to have happen. Yeah. They want to, they worry about their own lives, not what Congress is doing. We need to make sure it's better for them at home. Senator John Barrasso, Republican of Wyoming. Enjoy your trip home this weekend, sir. Thanks, Thanks. very much. Thanks for having me.